Hello friends, in this video we will go through with some sample questions, some types of questions that can come in exam. So let's start. Our first question we have, you receive a prescription to prepare a 60 gram analgesic gel with 1% lidocaine. You have 0.5% lidocaine and 2.5% lidocaine. How many each gram will you take? So we will extract four important information from our question. And these are highest concentration, which is 2.5% lidocaine. Then least concentration, which is 0.5% lidocaine. And then the desired concentration, which is 1% lidocaine. And the total amount we have to prepare is 60 grams. When we did this, we took our tic-tac-toe table. Then we put our highest concentration, which is 2.5%. Then our least concentration, which is 0.5%. Then in the middle, we put our desired concentration. Then we slide down. 2.5 minus 1 equals to 1.5 parts. Then from the left to up, 1 minus 0.5 equals to 0.5 parts. Then jump down. We add them and get 2 parts in total. Now calculate the proportion for each lidocaine. So for 2.5% lidocaine, we have 0.5 parts because 0.5 parts is in front of 2.5. So 0.5 parts, the maximum of 2 parts multiplied by 60 grams. When we calculate it, we get 15 grams. Then for 0.5 lidocaine, we have 1.5 parts out of 2 parts and multiply by 60 grams. So we get 45 grams. So what happened? We will take 15 grams of 2.5% concentration lidocaine and 45 grams from 0.5% lidocaine. It will give us 60 grams and the desired concentration of 1% of final preparation. Let's see our next question. In next question we have, you got a prescription for salicylic acid 1%, 60 gram preparation. Your pharmacy has 2.5% salicylic acid and petrolatum base. Calculate the amount you will use to prepare above prescription. Now again, first step, we will extract four important information. Here is a very interesting fact. We have our highest concentration, which is 2.5%, but our least concentration is not mentioned in our question. Let's leave it for now. Desired concentration is 1% and the total amount of preparation is 60 grams. What we will do with least concentration? So if you see, we have 2.5 salicylic acid and we have to mix it with petrolatum base. Since petrolatum is providing us as a base and it does it will not have any active ingredient 
So the active ingredient in our final preparation will be salicylic acid. And petrolatum has nothing with active ingredient, so we will take it 0%. Just because petrolatum does not have any salicylic acid. So the least concentration will be 0%. Our tic-tac-toe table, highest concentration 2.5%, least concentration 0%, desired concentration 1%, 2.5 minus 1, we get 1.5 parts. 1 minus 0, we get 1 part. 1 plus 1.5, we get 2.5 parts in total. Let's do proportion calculation. 2.5% salicylic acid has one part out of 2.5 part multiplied by 60 grams, which was the total amount we have to prepare. When we calculate it, we get 24 grams. Then for petrolatum base, it is showing zero here. We have 1.5 parts divided by 2.5 parts and multiply by 60 grams, we get 36 grams. So that's how we will do. Usually in exam, the, the example will be petrolatum or any other base, but you will know because there is no active ingredient, so we will take, take 0%. Let's see our next question. You need to prepare benzoyl peroxide 1% gel 60 gram. You have 0.5% benzoyl peroxide liquid and benzoyl peroxide powder. What fraction of each benzoyl peroxide needed to use to prepare above preparation? Now very interesting because there is no, there is only one concentration we have, not the second one. Among the four important information, we are not provided with the highest concentration. So what we will do? If you are thinking we will take 0%, you are very smart, but wrong. If you are thinking that this 0.5 will apply in both, like the benzoyl peroxide liquid and benzoyl peroxide powder, you are smart too, but wrong. We will take it 100%. Why we will take it 100%? Because the overall active ingredient in our final preparation will be benzoyl peroxide. So it's not about the base. The second mixture also has some benzoyl peroxide. So we will consider it 100% for our problem solution. Always remember that if the second mixture does not have any active ingredient, as we have in our second question. This, if the situation is any base vehicle that does not have any active ingredient, we will take it 0%. But if the second mixture will have some active ingredient, we will automatically take highest concentration, 100%. And we will consider it highest because if you see 100 is the highest, 0.5, is least in the question and you can identify the desired one. So the desired concentration is 1%. Total amount of preparation 60 grams. Let's do our problem. So tic-tac-toe table. 100% is the highest concentration. 0.5% least concentration. 1% desired concentration, 100 minus 1, 99 parts. 
1 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 parts. When we will add them, we got 99.5 parts in our proportion. Okay, here I uh, BZ, I gave a name for benzyl peroxide. You can give any name. I don't want to write the whole name. So we, I give, I give a symbol BZ. So for BZ powder, why BZ powder? Because it was 100%. So to indicate it, I write powder. For BZ powder, 0.5 parts divided by 99.5 parts multiplied by 60 grams, we get 0 0.3 gram. And then the 0.5% of benzyl peroxide, we will take 99 parts divided by 99.5, multiply by 60 grams, we get 59.7 grams. And then the concentration will automatically give 1% benzyl peroxide preparation. Let's see our next question, which is very simple. Which proportion of 95% ethanol and 50% ethanol should be used to make a solution of 500 ml of 70% ethanol? If you got an easy exam questions, it is most probably that you will get this type of question. And if you get a tough question paper, then uh, most probably the second and third type of question will come but this is the most common question uh, sample question that is asked in exam so our four important information is highest concentration 95% least concentration 50% desired concentration 70% and total amount of preparation is 5 100 ml. Our table 95% highest concentration, 50% least concentration, 70% desired concentration, 95 minus 70, we got 25 parts, 50 minus 70, we got 20 parts. When we add them, we get 45 parts. When we do our proportion calculation, we get 95% ethanol, 20 parts divided by 45 parts multiplied by 500, we get 222 ml, 222 ml. Then for 50% ethanol, 25% par oh, sorry, 25 parts, then divided by 45 parts multiplied by 500, we get 278 ml. All together, it makes 500 and the concentration will be 70%. Thanks for watching. Those who did not subscribe, please subscribe, share and those who did not like, please like the video. Thank you and bye for now.